Hey everyone, this is Josh with Movies Please. I know I'm looking a little bit rough. I can't, it's been one of those days, can't even find the uh, remote for the lights that are usually behind me. <laughs> so, hey, life goes on, right? I wanna talk about this new clip from The Batman, Matt Reeves' The Batman. Now, the clip debuted online in kind of an unusual way. In fact, you may have even seen the start of it and not realized it and clicked out of it because the clip debuted as an ad on YouTube. So you might have been about to watch something on YouTube, maybe a movie trailer or a cat video or whatever, and this new two minute, 11 second, I think, clip from the Batman pop up, and you might have clicked out of it not even realizing, oh, that's a brand new clip from probably one of the biggest movies of the year. It almost makes you wonder if that was an accident. Like, I, I still don't really understand why Warner Brothers would just have this clip from a highly anticipated movie out there. Because, you know, movie studios like to brag, oh, our trailer had uh, 30 million views in 24 hours or whatever. Whatever the, the I don't know the goalpost there. <laughs> I know it's, it's more than 30 million views, but actually come to think of it, maybe running it as a YouTube ad, maybe that results in more views since people are watching it without clicking on it. I don't know. I don't know how these things work. All I know is the clip is cool and I want to talk about it. Now, as I and several other YouTubers have mentioned, Warner Brothers is militant when it comes to uh, copyright claim on their stuff. So I'm not going to watch the uh, the clip here in real time. I don't know if you would even want to watch me <laughs> watch that clip because you know, it's it's not this sort of thing. It's not like a movie trailer where there's just explosions and all that and um, someone's going, whoa. It requires your attention. It doesn't need me or anyone else in a corner going, whoa, did you see that? Oh, I, I can't believe that. But somebody has screen recorded the clip and they have it where you can watch it. I'm gonna include a link in the description here. And so uh, if you wanna see that, maybe come back, watch my take on it. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Of course, I will include some uh, screen captures and some images. So let's break down what we see here. The clip begins at the funeral of Don Mitchell Jr. Now he was, up until a few days ago, the mayor of Gotham City. I don't know if you would consider this a spoiler. It's out there pretty commonly, but maybe if you don't know this, um, well, obviously Don is dead. So <laughs> if, I, if I've spoiled something, forgive me. I don't, again, so many people know this aspect. I don't know, I don't think I'm revealing anything huge here. I'm gonna give uh, some theories and some some of the rumors that are out there I'm going to be talking about. So yeah, let me go ahead and give a spoiler warning, but I'll try to tread lightly so you can watch this and I'm not going to like reveal the, the third act or anything. Uh, Bruce, we see him enter in and he's talking to Bella, I believe it's Rail is how you pronounce her last name. She's played by uh, Jamie Lawson and Bella is telling Bruce how she plans to change Gotham as the mayor. She is a mayoral candidate and it seems a little in bad taste for her to be talking to someone at, a, at the former mayor's funeral how she is going to run Gotham as the new mayor. But hey, that's politics for you, right? So as they're in the middle of this, suddenly Bruce, he's you can tell he's disinterested, he, but he's just there. He, I think he's kind of like all of us <laughs> in social settings, a lot of us at least. You know, we're there, we're trying to be social, but we get in these conversations we're just not feeling. He sees Commissioner Gordon, played by Jeffrey Wright, and Commissioner Gordon is talking with another policeman about how uh, Gil Coulson, the district attorney, is missing. Now, of course, this is a big deal. Again, district attorney. And there's something to add there in a little bit. Bruce is listening in on the conversation, kind of standing nearby, hearing what is being said. And no sooner has Commissioner Gordon mentioned Coulson is missing, Bruce notices that the Riddler, the shadowy figure, is up at the top of the church where the funeral's being held. And about that time, suddenly this car crashes through the front doors and is going through the audience. People are dodging out of the way. I don't know. It looks like in the clip, nobody is killed. Again, maybe that's just how it looks, but in real life, I mean, come on, you know, someone would have been killed, but or at least seriously injured, but whatever. Hey, it's a movie. It's, we'll go with it. A little boy is up at the front. Some people have said he's the mayor's son. Whatever the case, Bruce, he sees this little boy, jumps out, pulls him away to safety. If you slow down the clip, you can kind of see the car really doesn't come that close to the boy, but how would Bruce know that? He just sees this little boy and the car's plowing toward the front of the church and he grabs the little boy to safety. It's worth noting that people have said that the boy is going to play a role of some sort in this movie. I'm talking about a bigger role. Now, I don't know what that means exactly. I've heard it said that he is not playing Robin, at least not in this movie. He's not playing a Robin or some member of the Bat family. 
but that his story does go somewhere. A lot of people wonder if it's a misdirection that maybe he actually will be a Robin later down the line in another movie, but who knows at this point. Meanwhile, here's his card. Of course, Commissioner Gordon and all the police, Gotham City's finest, they you know, pull out their guns and Commissioner Gordon tells the, whoever's in the driver's seat to get out, hands up. Who should get out but Gil Coulson, played by Peter Skarsgård. Sorry, I know everyone wanted him to play Harvey Dent, but he is not. He's playing Gil Coulson, the current district attorney, and maybe soon to be former district attorney. I'm not so sure this isn't about to open up the door for the next district attorney uh, AKA when Harvey Dent to enter. So Gil Coulson gets out of the car. He has a screen attached to his hand, his mouth. He has the tape on it. It says no more lies. And he has a, uh, a message taped to his chest to the Batman. He has a bomb around his neck. Someone calls it out. You know, he has a bomb and oddly, a lot of people still stick around to watch, <laughs> which says that actually might be a lot like real life. Sadly, it's funny. That might actually be one of the most real life things in this movie, how someone says there's a bomb and yet a big group of people still stick around to see, I wonder how this is gonna turn out. But that's where the clip kind of ends is this uh, moment of tension. I know I am the millionth person to point this out, but the clip does feel like something from Seven, David Fincher's masterpiece. The movie Seven, it feels very much like in that spirit. I, I cannot wait to see where this goes. It's thrilling to think that just in over, just a little bit over a month, we're going to be watching this movie. That's incredible to me. I, I cannot wait. I'll add that I have heard this movie is spectacular. I, every person I've heard from who has seen it in a test screening or through some other source says this movie is spectacular, that this is going to be a movie that pleases fans. And people have added that we really don't know a whole lot about the plot. Now, the trailers have made us think we have a pretty good idea but people who've seen the movie say a lot of surprises are in store. What did you think of this clip from the Batman? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, link in the description. Until next time, this has been Josh with Movies Please. Thanks for watching.